Did you know that you can download apps using the App Store on your phone? The App Store gives you access to millions of apps that can increase your productivity, improve mental health, and provide leisure activities. This feature can be accessed through the App Store on your phone. You can only use the App Store if you have an Apple ID. You can check your Apple ID and the settings of your device. If you are logged in, it should look like this. Make sure that you have your Apple ID and Apple ID password with you to follow along. The App Store is the white A icon on a blue background on my home screen. It is circled in red. Once you open it, you will notice five tabs at the bottom labeled Today, Apps, Arcade, and Search. The Today tab includes stories and collections of apps that are updated daily by Apple. The Games tab features all gaming apps and the Apps tab features top apps that have been categorized. The Arcade tab is an Apple subscription to access a multitude of gaming apps with only one purchase. The last tab, Search, is where we will be going to search for apps. You can search for apps by keywords or specific app names in the search bar. If you search by keywords, you can filter your search by tapping the downward facing arrow next to Filter in the upper left corner of the screen. A drop down menu will appear where you can set up various filters to narrow down your search. Tap on Done to save the filters. As you scroll through the apps, pay attention to the Get button next to each. If it says Get, the app is free to download but could have in-app purchases, which is written in small font underneath the Get button. If the app has a price instead of a Get button, then the app requires a purchase to download. When you find an app that you like, tap on it to bring up more information. In this screen, you will see a banner up top with all the important information summarized. Underneath, you will see a preview of the app, which can include pictures or videos of the app and a blurb written by the developer to convince you to download the app. It includes information about the app and any subscription details that might apply. Below this, you will see a rating and review section where you can tap on See All to read all reviews written for this app. Underneath will be a section labeled App Privacy, where you can read more about the developer's privacy policy to see how this app will use your information. If you choose to download the app, scroll up and tap on the Get button. The App Store will then prompt you to enter your Apple ID password. If you have Touch ID set up, the screen will look like this. For Face ID or Password Input, the screen will look very similar. You will see a blue check mark in a circle if you've entered in the correct password. You will then see a circle with the square inside next to the app you've just downloaded. The circle will fill up as the app downloads, then will say Open when the app has been fully installed. You can view your apps when you return to the home screen, which is done by swiping up from the bottom of the screen or by pressing the home button on devices with a physical home button. This feature is extremely beneficial for anyone who is looking to get more out of their phone. It helps by giving you access to millions of apps that can make a difference in your life. AAC, medication management, health and fitness are all just to download away. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Check out our entire video series, Did You Know? Digital Essentials for More Helpful Features. For more information about this feature, including other digital features available on your device, visit bridgingapps.org.